Spitting great gouts of fire, you was like a bleeding volcano. Never seen a volcano. What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. Hi, Jim. Go to her, you fool. Jim. Right, you lot, enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. It really is you. Uh, <laughs> it is. Clive! You're alive. So are you. Yeah, boy. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived. Out Fink's gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke, and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What? <laughs> you were dominant? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? Um, yeah. It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible Clive. When I think back. 
back to that night. Man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sources. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive? I don't know. We should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... No, Jade, you should... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon then, Clive. I should be ready too. We have a long journey ahead of us. Okay, Looking at half a dozen, maybe more. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. I need some... You'll not find a better price than that. Better I'll be here. Off you go then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav too. Gav. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. Not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Wow. Ready, my lady. Ready.
Rosaria. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. That's in at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Look at the fuse on this one. Explains why there's a premium on it. Yeah, right. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Oi! Stop and give me an hand! I'm being in wise. Here! You couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. Still. Better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need yes, your help. Yes, I do. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. And it was running late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. Here we are. 
Martha's rest. That's one of our branded. Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Huh. Sounds about right. He'll have it for uh, the Gizal uh, Greens, no doubt. Yeah, boy. Crammed with him, <laughs> if I know him. Gizal Greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. The master. Ooh. Girl, you get some rest now. Ciao, go well. You barely have to step out your front door. Ciao, go well. Hey, Jill. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Let's go and find out, shall we? Where he goes to East Pool, leave him in the park. Hello, Martha. Open. Yeah. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. Ah, well, we had proper leaders. Proper trades, not just selling our blades and our bodies. So, excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking. Why they have an imperial bearer with them? Imperial bearer. Which hopefully won't be needed. If you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said he might be able to help us. Wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? The Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Can they just go? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through East Pool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge ever collapsed. Avoid blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? 
Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. He'll turn it into a pair of thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Where is it? To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. There he goes to Eastpool. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. Why you were here? How? My lady, you saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around and I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. <laughs> We're just glad you're safe. Yeah. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Hey? Yeah. Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. I'm sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, Sam. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him can go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. She'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed.
soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far. Drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey, Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. What?
finished. There, boy. You know what to do. There's the Abbey. Darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Stay down! Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. I... I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left. <sighs> the curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace.
When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. You're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. <laughs> 